Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to customize your check detail report so that it shows refund receipts. Let me start by just explaining what's going on. If you have a situation where clients bought something from you and you've given their money back, you've issued them a refund receipt. Really what you've done is you told QuickBooks, I'm giving this person money back. So I'm going to write a check out of my checking account and money is going to leave my checking account. QuickBooks should automatically show you the money that's left your checking account, especially if you're writing a check. But for some reason, it doesn't automatically include this. And you have to tell it that you really meant all of the checks when I pull up the check detail report. So let me show you if I go to reports, find by report name, and I just go to my check detail report for reasons, I'm going to switch this to classic view. So I'm going to say switch to classic view. The date of my imaginary or sample refund is 7-11. So we'll go 7-11-24, run report. You see these two things, but you don't see the refund check. If I'm pulling this report, it's, it's because somebody is asking for something. Maybe it's a manager, maybe it's an auditor, but somebody is saying, can I get a report of all the checks that left your bank account? Right? So I need a report with all the checks. What I found that you need to do is you need to click on customize in the upper right hand corner. You need to go to filter right now, right here. The transaction type is all, which um, I think we can just call a big fat lie. What I have found is that if I click on it and I'm like, hey, I really mean it, all the transactions. I click on run report. Magically, I get more information, including but not limited to the refund. If you're looking at this and you're like, I don't get it. Let me just click on it and I'll show you. This is a refund that went to the client Pies Cakes. Make believe client, make believe QuickBooks. The money left the checking account. It has a check number. It's for actual money. It's not like it's a $0 check. This shows up in the check register. Therefore, it should show up on the check detail report. Let me show you the check register just in case you're not really sure what's going on here. Um, so go to transactions and chart of accounts, checking account, view register. I'm just going to scoot down. So this check was issued on 7-11. So uh, right here, $87 and 50 cents. It's a refund. It's, it's definitely, it's impacting my running balance. It's in the payment column. It should show up when I run a check detail report. So if you find yourself in that situation, that's what I found that you've got to do. If you're stuck on anything and would like to see me make a video on something, let me know. Any questions, post them in the comments below. Thanks.